All right, folks. I'm going to show you a really cool little trick here to uh, fix pretty much anything with a rechargeable battery. Uh, this is a Bluetooth speaker, but it'll pretty much work with anything that's got a little rechargeable battery inside of it. Um, when you break the, the standard little mini USB power port, which happens quite a bit, it's used quite a bit, and it gets busted off. You know, a friend gave this to me. They did not own a screwdriver, but they tried to attempt to get to the broken power port here. And, uh, of course, they didn't own a soldering gun or anything. And these things are notoriously hard, unless you've got really specific little tiny soldering tips to re-solder. But what's not hard is doing this cool little trick. Uh, now, I'm sure you got a few of these laying around your house old usb cords okay these things are great don't throw them away just because one end's broken which is usually the mini usb end now what you do is whatever device you got gently open it pop it open and inside you're going to see all kinds of wonderful little things you don't even need to know much about electronics to do this is very simple right here is two wires going to your rechargeable battery okay your battery pack it even says if you look really close b-a-t-t -T, see that right there it says bat okay so i zoom in to get that bat battery it's got a red and a black and what you do is you take your old usb cable strip the end right here like a so Usually your green and your white are for data transfer. Your red and your black are for your power. So, clip these back so they're not bugging anything. Strip your black and your red. And then, I usually try not to break the wire here. You can pop this little white clip out. And what you do is you put the black to the black, red to the red. Nice and tight. Twist them together. Strip back the shielding on these, you know. And then plug it back in. And there you go. This thing that did not work now will work just fine. And not only that, it will charge the battery too and bypass the broken battery port. Okay, see, that's all I did. And we're going to take our little, any our little wall outlet here and put that in. And let's see here, plug that in. Okay, we got it plugged in. And here we go. Now, let's see. And hit the power button here. And what do you know? Hey, we've got power. Yep. And if you let it sit for a little while, it'll actually charge the uh, device, too. That way, you don't need to be an expert in electronics or try and attempt to solder one of these little mini USB uh, female plugs back on there because well most most people can't but i bet most of you guys could strip a couple of wires down and uh do that so just remember gently open your device find where the two wires are going into the rechargeable battery pack try to strip the shielding without breaking the wire preferably twist it put a little tape on there boom boom you're good to go okay it's a good little hack save you a lot of hassle when you break these things all right Hope this helps you guys. And I'll see you later.